Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, how's Lüning? This is my son Ben. And today we have a proper whiskey here on our table. <laughs> the proper 12. A proper number 12. And this is the whiskey from Conor McGregor. Uh, and I had I to Google that guy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I, I did Google him as well. I'm, I'm not the, the UFC watcher. It's an Irish whiskey, triple distilled. And it's said to be made uh, at the uh, Bushmills, Bushmills Distillery. Yes. You so looked a bit I, this guy up, huh? I, 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 I uh, <laughs> chased him down. <laughs> no. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, he's a mixed martial arts fighter in the MMA. Mm -hmm. or MAA, and he was able to start uh, fighting in Dublin. He started there as an amateur. Mm -hmm. And uh, he started quite early. He's, I think he's 30 this year. And uh, he started well below 20 and uh, 2002 I think he started and then he made some career mm -hmm. and uh, he was able to join the UFC the the ultimate fighting championship in the US in they're based in Las Vegas and there he had some fights and with one fight uh, he earned 75 million dollars one fight he lost Who's paying that much? Yeah, well, I don't know. So the the, uh, the number of people watching that is still quite low. It's it's Fox Sports One, mm -hmm. and they have just a few single digit million spectators. Mm -hmm. So it's not that much. But I think the the fans are, are quite near to them, and mm -hmm. and this is this fight is so weird. There's this Fight Club video mm -hmm. uh, film, film mm -hmm. with Brad Pitt. Mm -hmm. He's some. He's a metal guy. <laughs> yeah, and uh, there you can see that. So they fight not in a in a ring with ropes, but in a cage, and the cage has a steel uh, uh, fencing fencing around, and they have uh, eight corners so that you don't are, aren't able to cover in a corner. So <laughs> there is a fight definitely, and then you have a distant fight. You have no gloves. Uh, but only protection for your knuckles mm -hmm. and then so he once had a fight in the UFC and he won in 13 seconds <laughs> <laughs> so, so then your fingers are free and you just wear a, a, a short pants mm -hmm. nothing else and then, so you have a distant fight then you have a clinch fight then you have a bottom fight and then you have how it's called mm -hmm. Uh, strangling, strangling, but oh, you're not allowed like to have your uh, your air blocked, but uh, your, uh, your, your arteries, arteries are allowed are, to be blocked. Yeah, uh, yeah. So it's it's a strange, a weird thing, and <laughs> and wow. <laughs> yeah, the thing is that they don't have any boxing gloves, so yeah. it's kind of it's not it's quite thin. Bare, it's qu not quite bare knuckle, but it it always reminds me of the the old fist fights from let's say Greeks or Romans or that uh -huh. something like that where. And it's the bottom is hard. The bottom so, is hard. So it's so no yeah. wrestling with a soft bottom. Yeah. If he hits you and, and tears mm -hmm. you down and is on it's, you, it's, it's definitely hard. It's rough and tough fighting. Yes. It's, oh. it's not one of these uh, yeah easy fighting things where you're just uh, like, oh, I've hit you, I've won. Uh, no, it's, it's, it's really rough and tough. Yeah. And I think he's now uh, the last championship he won in 2016. So he's tried a little bit off today. And mm -hmm. uh, so I think he... Uh, went on to the whiskey <laughs> and built his own brand. And what's weird is uh, the 12 comes from the district of of Dublin where he lives, lived or lived in or was raised in. So it's the district 12. It's Cumlins, Cumlin, it's called, and it's in the west of of Dublin. And uh, there he was a a plumber. He worked as a plumber, I think. Was a plumber, oh, okay. Yeah. And uh, then he was. Uh, Workless, and got got some, uh, yeah, some money somewhere, and he was uh, training, and then he, he came out and bright and shiny and rose up, and until and he was world championship in feather think, featherweight and lightweight. Yeah, he, he's lightweight. He's really yeah. really mm -hmm. light. It's not one of these like Mike Tyson heavyweight and that kind of stuff. But no. you, you see, he's one of the agile and uh -huh. fast and and still. Durable, I would so, say. So, <laughs> boxing, nothing for me. You, you will suffer a stroke if you're <laughs> older. Uh, mixed martial art, never. <laughs> uh, so the only thing in this fighting uh, is sumo. Sumo. Oh, you're sumo, sumo guy. So, so I'm, I'm too thin for that. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, this is, they are 
coming together and they're fighting and then they fell over and yeah, still still not that healthy these guys no it's from the inside <laughs> 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 your blood you're, you're, you're dying from outside uh, from inside not from outside unfortunately so, I've never seen a sumo fight I've been to Japan but I, I really want reality, to see so some a sumo fight yeah you can see them on the internet yeah. everywhere yeah but I, I want to see them like in real time where they throw around the, the the salt, I think. Uh, yeah, in the yeah. beginning. Yeah. So, what do we have inside, inside. the bottle? We have yeah. uh, a Irish whiskey, yeah. triple distilled, uh, Bush yeah. Mills. What's weird is he is a, <laughs> a guy from the Republic of Ireland, from Dublin, mm -hmm. and the Bush Mills distillery mm -hmm. is Northern Ireland, it's England. Oh, Great Britain. Uh, United Kingdom. <laughs> United <laughs> Kingdom. <laughs> yeah, but the thing is, for me, it's just, yeah, come on. You're all Irish. <laughs> Irish culture. It's just Irish. It's a soft border. And, uh, so, yeah. yeah. So this is Bushmills, but uh, it's not all that clear if the grain whiskey, it's a blended whiskey, mm -hmm. if the grain whiskey is as well from Bushmills, but it was sad. Uh, from other distilleries as well. Yeah, why we say Bushmills is because it is made uh, from uh, the distilling uh, manager David Elder from Bushmills, mm -hmm. and him. So they tried and they they made this blend. I think with a hundred recipes they tried out or something mm -hmm. like that. And, and the twelve uh, is not the twelve. 12th recipe, like with the uh, Tennessee whiskey. It's not it's, uh, it's just the. Oh, you don't know if the Tennessee whiskey is the seventh recipe anyway. Uh, yeah. Uh, so, but the thing is, it's not it's 12 years old as well. It's the the brotherhood, the do neighborhood. We, that's the 12. Yeah. Do we know the age? Uh, young. Young. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So no age. Uh, uh, and what does it say? It says, uh, okay, 40% ABV. And from ex-bourbon casks? Mm-hmm. Ex bourbon cask whiskey. Yeah, but they do not say first fill, second fill, third mm -hmm. fill. And if you look at the website from from the proper number twelve, you you see them with a, a tumbler and ice. Big ice cubes. Big, big, ice, big cubes. ice cubes. Yeah, you don't want to water it down. You just want to cool it. Uh huh. Okay. That's why you use big <coughs> ice cubes. And this bottle is very classic. It looks like a liter bottle, but it's not. Uh, it's classic. It's green. It has a quite classic label on it. So I would have said, uh, if this is a fight whiskey, then it should look different. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really classic. It looks like an Irish whiskey. Yeah. But maybe, maybe he wanted to go for that. So the others with their metal guys, <laughs> they, they look really different. So he has a, uh, a tattoo on his breast, uh, having a wild animal eating a heart. Something like that. Okay. So I would have said this would have been the maximum <laughs> on it. So then it would not only be for the uh, UFC fans, but as well for the tattoo fans. Yeah. So we don't have a monitor in the moment. Nope. So I, I hope it's <laughs> centered right. So from the distance, it's vanilla, it's honey. Yeah, vanilla honey. It's friendly. Nice. Yeah, so if you have a <laughs> mixed martial art fighter from the distance, probably <laughs> nice looking. <laughs> but if you're getting closer. Oh, okay, yeah. If, you, if you're getting closer, you do get into the grain. Yeah. And harsh booze. Oh, yeah, oh. It's, it has an alcoholic note in there. Mm -hmm. It got a bit of honey, got a vanilla, got a bit of mm -hmm. a... A roasted note in there, but, but it's if you're still, going down and really yeah, in it, you have that. It's a bit of an alcoholic note in first there. First hit. <laughs> <laughs> first hit. Oh, okay. Thirteen seconds over. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's yeah. a bit, a bit, a bit mm -hmm. lacking from the smell. I would say. Hmm. Hmm. Oily in the start, sweet, <laughs> and then it hits you. Mm. Double cut, <laughs> hefty. I would have expected much more alcohol. It's really oily. That's mm -hmm. really really oily. It's only forty percent. Forty percent. Really nice mouthfeel. 
bit of sweetness going on, a little bit of honey going on, but as you swallow it and as you feel it, you do get a lot of oak. Mm -hmm. It's definitely one of these very, very oaky whiskeys and a bit, mm, I would say, even woody. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but and, and, and sharp, sharp alcohol. Ah, I didn't get the alcohol. Mm -hmm. But um, you have After a bit taste. of a bitterness from mm -hmm. the wood. Yeah. The thing is, when you when you now hear about how this smelled and tasted, the thing is, if you'd have an ice cube in there, I think you would tone down the, the unpleasant things. And probably. the mouthfeel would probably be even better because it's even less uh, less viscosity, so it's mm -hmm. more hard, uh, like more creamy. Mm -hmm. So it's um, probably gonna be, I would say it's a drinking whiskey for with ice cubes. Yeah, or with Coke, ginger, whatever. <laughs> um, yeah, you definitely need a, a, a contrapoint um, for those in intense mixing liquids. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think it's not complex. It's just straightforward. It's mm -hmm. it's just mm -hmm. it's, it's friendly, nice, heavy, <laughs> oily. Well, after taste. <laughs> Mm. But but after yeah. some weeks you recover from your fight. <laughs> <laughs> you can taste it again. <laughs> and, yeah. and then, so and the aftertaste faster, uh, the bitterness fades mm -hmm. away, and afterwards it's it's just a, a normal whiskey aftertaste after that. Mm -hmm. You know that this is a, a like a thirty bucks, thirty five bucks mm -hmm. whiskey, Um the thing is, uh, if I compare it to what's that that other guy, the the guy with the underwear who used to play <laughs> soccer, David Beckham. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. He used uh, he has or used to have, he has one of these whiskeys the from London. Um, I would if I compare it to that one, I would say that was a it's single. Better. That was a single grain. It so was a single just grain. Just only but grain. This is maltiness as well in it. Yes. Just from the from the taste, it's better. Yeah. I like it more. It's it's still compared to let's say a uh, half the price, half the price, yeah, <laughs> half the price and better. So what he did was was pretty good for someone who is like a newbie to the the whiskey, whiskey industry. Um, probably he might have drink, <laughs> drink more whiskey than you in his life. <laughs> <laughs> He's an Irishman. Mm. And uh, there's a second one. More uh, in volume, not, <laughs> yeah. not, not in different whiskey diversity. <laughs> yeah, and uh, there's mm. Judge Clooney. Mm. He got a. Uh, spirits as well, mm, and I think yeah. he yeah. sold it for a billion. Yeah, but well, it was vodka. And it was it was <laughs> horrible. <Yeah. laughs> it was just horrible. It was just oh, Judge Clooney. This one yeah. is is um better coffee from. It's Josh a Clooney. it's a a whiskey. If I'd call it a proper whiskey, it says so on the bottle. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> proper. Uh, if you see, it's it's proper because it's from Ireland. It's mm. it's rough. It's straight. Not complicated. Not yeah. high sophisticated. It's proper. If you're a rough guy and you want to to have a glass during your, your UFC, this might be really the mm -hmm. the the right bottle for you. But mm -hmm. if you're like one of these malt heads and really sophisticated and, mm -hmm. and you're into the nuances of the taste, mm -hmm. yeah. then yeah, <laughs> that wouldn't really. advise you. <laughs> Not really. Yeah. But for the guys who who love Conor McGregor, it's probably the right whiskey. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a good whiskey. Yeah. Huh. Okay. So thank you very much for watching and see you next time.